Hey everyone, so thank you for joining me for this video. I know this video is gonna be so weird because I literally do not even know what the heck I am doing throughout the two weeks. I literally recorded clips here and there. So you're gonna see some very just kind of random things from my week. I just thought it kind of be fun to just sum up the couple of weeks um, that I've had. We're on our third week of school right now. Currently it is Monday. I forgot, wait, is it Monday? Yeah, it is, it's Monday. Okay, so in the first clip, I'm kind of going through it right now. Um, another issue of mine is that I'm having a storage issue, so I'm actually having to edit on my phone. Um, it's still not the best. So I'm having to edit on my phone because um, that's the only place I can find storage if I delete like literally all my apps. Uh, as you can see back here is a video I recorded to teach science, so ignore that. Um, but in the first clip, I am getting stuff together to be able to put a little science center together to teach my science lessons. So you'll see a little clip of that and then a finished picture. I wanna be without you. This is something that I know for sure. It's just something about you. I just want more. Okay, so I found my Halloween um, skeleton. And I thought I could take him home and paint him white, but then I thought, or like a cream color, you know, spray paint him. But then I thought, you know what, for right now, he's cool orange, right? So I'm gonna make him a little stand so I can hang, um, hang him and put him on the table. So I'm gonna um, put together three of these dowels that I found in my art cabinet. I'm gonna put together three of them. Then with the little wall hooks that I have, I'm gonna give him a little hook at the top so I can hang him right there. And it sounds really weird saying hang him. Um, anyways, and then um, I got to find something to stand him up in. So that is what I'm going to be working on. So I'm so excited. Okay, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how it is when I come into work in a very over-exaggerated fashion. <laughs> I just thought this would be funny to kind of go through my clips and... Um, kind of tell you what I'm doing here. So this is how I come into work every day. Oh look, I'm here at work. What do you know? I gotta go take my temperature. <laughs> then I grab my thermometer, take my temperature and 98. I put that into the fever free app that we have and then I'm good to go. I'm good to be here at work. So that's what I do every morning. What the heck is this? because I did Easton's hair this morning and then I used the same comb to like just kind of comb out my front pieces but it probably had leftover gel in it and now, now, ew. Nice. So yeah, I don't know, it's been different, it's been strange but I wanted to show you guys my science setup and then I'm gonna show you guys everything I use for distance learning. Somebody had commented, a few people had commented, can you just tell us what you do all together for distance learning um, and so I'm gonna show you every aspect of my distance learning whole entire thing and just show you how it works of course, uh, I start off with my class website this is what the kids get into every morning so up here on their toolbar I did add in our class website and then they simply go here every day and um, I haven't really switched much because we're only in third week they go over to weekly assignments of course and they're gonna see our weekly assignment calendar. When they click that, it's gonna open up this here and they will see exactly what they need to do all throughout the day. So their days have been getting a little bit busier as we progress through the weeks. Um, and then as soon as they do that, they obviously go into Zoom. While we're on Zoom, I utilize a lot of different things. So not only do I have open my GoGuardian, um, but I also have open, um, I have my iPad going to record me and then I have, this is where I see my students projected. So I see all of their faces here. I'm recording myself off my, like I'm, uh, they can view me because my camera from my iPad is, is on me. And then I'm always using this screen to share screen. So I'm using three different screens at once. And then um, 
this is what their Google Classroom will look like where they will find their independent work. So we not only have our classroom website link, but these are the topics I have. I have math, ELA, science, social studies, and past assignments. Past assignments is very important. So for math, I always put in what we have. I haven't posted, but um, I only posted Monday, which we had a test review today. Then I posted a pretest, and then Thursday. So I have Thursday, I have. Um, so we have Thursday math, and then in ELA, they have their reading log, their ELA packet, and their 10 quick questions, which is just a uh, flip grid, which I've left up there from the beginning of the year, and they kind of just um, answer it whenever they have fun or have time. I also have a science lesson here. I've started to record my science lessons because connectivity in, is real sketchy right now on Zoom, so having um, over like 30, 40 students in there makes it really hard for everybody to hear me and I don't, I start glitching a lot. So I'm, I'm posting these daily science lessons. And then for past assignments, this is where every week at the end of the week on Fridays, I, um, I go ahead and move everything to past assignments in case I ever have anything that wasn't graded properly or whatever. Maybe they haven't done it. They can always go back and redo it. So um, that is everything. That's everything I use for distance learning, guys. So I'm preparing for a science lesson here. I'm um, just talking about Galileo's theory of falling objects with the students. That was very fun. Week one. Here we go. Are we ready? Let's see. Watch closely, guys. Watch closely. Here we go. I wanted to show you guys a gift that um so in this clip i wanted to show you guys a gift that my principals got us in the pta or pto as we call it here they got us something okay guys so i have to show you what i just got they gave us these camping chairs to go out onto the grass and like have a have lunch with everybody i thought that was so cute and then they gave us um tea and some panera for lunch like how nice is that um in the next clip i kind of got us ready for an ela project that i was doing i'm oh, sorry ela lesson that i was doing it's called the peanut butter and jelly challenge pb and j challenge so um please watch this next clip to see what we do here it's all about introducing details in writing and so i like to do this um little lesson that i've done for years and years and years and it's always been a hit so you'll see a little clip of that yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. And I so this video is just going to be me telling you guys, hey, I'm going to be showing you this today and then not fully show and not fully finish because I swear to you, this is just not the time. I'm going to be teaching ELA um, on 9.45 till 10.30. So we're going to be doing the peanut butter challenge, which I brought some peanut butter, some bread, stuff like that. And what the kids are going to do is they're going to, I had them write down um some descriptive sentences or sorry yeah um some descriptive sentences trying to describe how to make a peanut butter sandwich so i am going i'm going to be doing that but set up right here so i actually didn't go to the store to get peanut butter and bread just for this i just brought what i had at home so i have some dave dave's killer bread and then i have some jiff natural peanut butter if it's really natural i don't know um, so I guess I'm going to prepare that and then I will tell you what I'm doing next. I really don't care as long as I'm with you. So that could make six different sandwiches, but I think I'm even going to just cut them in half this way as well. Awesome. So again, this is how your setup should be. Butter knife, plates, peanut butter, and likely jelly, but um, you know, I didn't bring mine. So, and then some bread. So there we go, we're all set up. I'm going to be having my camera on my iPad turned right here so they can see me making the sandwich. And it's gonna be very silly. So let me show you the worksheet I gave them. For me, it just says PBNJ challenge. Tell me how to make a peanut butter sandwich and use a lot of detail. So they wrote down in here, it's just a text box, so they can just begin typing away in there to tell me their directions on how to make a peanut butter sandwich. But I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna do to start off the lesson with descriptive words 
and we'll adjectives. We'll see. We'll see if you can describe it as well as you're saying you can make it. Okay, here we go. Ella, can you turn on your camera and read us your instructions so that way I know how to make a peanut butter sandwich? Okay. First, you put peanut butter, and we're going to ignore the jelly. Okay. First, you put peanut butter on. On what? Okay. Okay. Got it. It's on the bread. Okay. Next, what do I do? Cut it in half. I don't know if I can do that. Thank you, Ella. I'm going to... I'm gonna see if some. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if somebody else has some instructions I can follow. Well, let me see. You have. You can only read me what's written on your paper. What do I do first? Okay. Piece the bread out. And then here in this next clip, you're gonna see me getting ready for back to school night and just a few things that I do for that. Hey guys, it's another random day of me uh, trying to put together some sort of thing. I, guys, I'm stressed out. Also, the, the like sky outside looks orange. All the fires, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of Golden State Educate and others that I know um, are up there in the Bay Area and I'm hoping you guys are all okay. Um, I see your smile, um, uh, Kate, on, um, on Instagram, so I think you're doing good. This is the second week of school. We are almost coming to a close. Um, today I have to do my back to school night, so I was gonna show you what I have done for that. So I'm gonna present this for you. Guys, I've been coming to school like, like of course I'm like dressed professionally, but I just like don't do my hair. I'm just like, whatever, walk in, it's like, Beep. same thing so if they are not going to attend the zoom then i'm just going to send this information in an email to them so it just says welcome to third a let's connect page which i'm not going to show because it has like my personal information and then a typical day i just have whatever we do on a typical day classwork and i tell them that it's staggered um, i also sent out a frequently asked questions page so that's why i have this on there because it kind of answers some questions that my parents had Battle of the Books, of course, Class Dojo, I address all the content areas. This one is not taught by me, but um, of course I do put it on there so that way they can direct any questions that way. Star tests and regular old tests, which kind of tests we will have. And then I just have questions because it's going to be very short and simple and they have already been doing this for, sorry, let me put you back down. Um, So the reason that it's so short is because they've already been doing this for two weeks. They don't really have a lot of questions. I have very open communication with my parents to the point where if they have a question, they just like text me in the moment. Same with students. They text me in the moment and we get it handled. So that's what I'm doing for back to school night. I also am going to show you this. Um, this is like my, my brochure, which I really limited it for distance learning because it used to be very fancy and like detailed and have a whole bunch more stuff that I needed like room parents and blah, 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 blah. But this year at the start of the year, I do not need any of that information right now. I also do not need to get out any super detailed information because it's all very basic online and it just has about the same kind of things that I talked about in my slides but in case they don't want to read that or go through the slides then it's here on a pdf that's it so I'm gonna go this is my night I'm going to I have a actually a really long night ahead so I'm going to um go pick up Easton right now in like six or seven minutes from preschool bring him over here and clean up the classroom a little bit because I actually do leave quite a mess <laughs> on my own and I am going to drive him over to his dad's work so I can drop him off there and then I'm going to come all the way back over here and I am going to present my slideshow to my parents and then I'm going to be done with that. I'm going to close up my classroom. I'm going to go meet my friend Bree because she works for the after school program that I used to run um, and they are working on making um, videos for the after school program and to keep it running while we're still in distance learning to so give to give the kids a little bit of like extracurriculars so you know just kind of like coming up with lessons and stuff so i'm really excited to go help her with that after that i am just gonna go home and crash out i also have class starting on saturday so on saturday i have a zoom from nine to three 
So next is some footage of me. Very disappointed that I have to go to a six hour Zoom. So I can barely make it through a one hour Zoom. And today I have to do a six hour Zoom. Six hours, people. What are you doing on a Saturday? Because if you want to come sit in as me. Um, but overall, guys, I've been having a really rough time just in general with like my life and um, kind of just getting things really situated and kind of just getting into the groove of things with work and all of that. I actually also had kind of a coronavirus scare. Um, my mom had to get tested for coronavirus and so I basically had to be sent home from work and then I ended up getting tested anyways. It was negative, she was negative. Everybody's safe, everybody's fine. Um, but it's, I just, you know, it's been a little rough on me. Um, I've been very stressed out. I've been having intense, crazy breakouts. I'm barely getting over them. You might notice them in this video. And um, it's, it's also because of the mask and everything. So I'm having a lot of tough times with that. If you've ever struggled with like acne like I have, which it's like covered my face before. Um, if you've ever struggled with that, you'd know how like, um, how much it can be detrimental to your self-esteem and things like that. And so that's what I've kind of been um, worried about as well. Not to get on camera, I don't mind that, but um, in general, it just kind of makes me feel uncomfortable throughout the day. And even though I'm here alone in my classroom, I still like my face is in pain and stuff like that. So I'm really working on trying to fix that problem. Um, but also there's just some other personal stuff that's going on that has been um, holding me back from posting and kind of just, I feel like I gotta put my attention elsewhere. Uh, but I've been seeing so many great things from all the people I watch here on YouTube and I'm so excited that all of you first year teachers are starting your school year off and it seems to be going great. I'm so excited to watch all of your guys' journeys, especially, um, you know, just, I, I just, it's so crazy. You're a first year teacher in the hardest time and I think that that's just amazing. So anyways guys, I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm so sorry. I want to be more consistent again and I will be. Um, I'm just kind of getting back into the groove of things after kind of feeling like I'm not really where I need to be. Um, so, you know, we're in this together and if you have any suggestions for me about kind of self-care or things like that, I, that would be very useful because I feel like I'm just not um, putting a lot of time aside for myself and it's kind of um, bringing me to a lot of breakdowns and boiling points if you will so um, I hope all of you guys are having a great time I hope you guys are doing okay with all the fires if you're in California like me um, if you are you know battling anything I mean the whole coronavirus thing if you're battling stress from all of this if you're battling anything I really pray for you and I hope that you're having a um, you know your time gets a little bit easier because I can tell you firsthand I've not been in a good place and I, I'm um, trying to get out of it right so I'm trying to get back so thank you so much for watching if you clicked on this video and I will be seeing you next time I'm sure pretty soon okay let me know if you have any suggestions of what you guys want to see um, I really don't want to have another choppy choppy video like this so I kind of just wanted to get on here and say hello so I'm hoping that you guys if you guys have any suggestions let me know and I'll put out a video um, addressing those all right okay so I hope you guys have a great time and I'll see you ladies later Bye.